literally can apply is that foster care in them. We love you, thank you very much, wherever you are. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name's Amy and I'm a UK adoptive mom to two young children. And I'm on a mission here on YouTube to share as much UK specific adoption information as I can because there's just a serious lack of it really. Um, there's more now than there was when we were going through the process, which is amazing. Um, and if you've got any channels that you think I should be following that I might not know of, please leave them in the comments down below because I'm always on the hunt for more UK adoptive parents sharing about our journeys. Today's video is episode three of the Adoption Diaries. It is another instalment of videos that I'm making for my babies, things and little snippets of information that I talk to people about, people ask me questions about, but I'm probably not gonna remember to tell um, our little ones, or I may not remember exactly how I'm feeling at this time um, if they ask me in 10, 15 years time. I don't keep written diaries, so as I'm already filming every week, this just seems like the perfect way to do it. So this week, my babies, we found out about your newest sibling, um, a full sibling. We knew this baby existed. We were approached by the adoption agency last year to um, potentially bring this baby home and this baby join our family with yourself, with you both. And we weren't able to open our hearts to another baby at that time it was way too close to both of you and there is no way that your dad and i could have properly cared for you both and a newborn baby it was completely life-changing having one baby and then a few months later later we had a newborn move in and as much as I wouldn't change a thing and that was incredible and that has really proven to me what I am capable of things that I didn't ever think I'd be capable of I think you both would have suffered my dad your, my dad your dad and I both think you would have suffered if there would have been another newborn for us to be looking after and we think like our mental health would have suffered it just wouldn't have been an ideal situation for anybody we had to make the really really hard decision to say no to that baby and the whole point of us bringing you two home was to keep you together you were full siblings it was to keep you together keep you growing up together and it was horrific that we weren't able to do that and that we, we couldn't do that for this new sibling. You know, we'd done that for you. Couldn't we just do it one more time? Um, and the answer was no. The, that there was not enough room in the house. Um, there potentially wasn't enough finances for us to do that. And it just wouldn't have been fair. We, you know, we wanted you to, you guys to have... There was a minimum standard of life that we didn't want to drop below for you guys and we couldn't guarantee that that wasn't going to happen if we brought this new baby home so we said no to the adoption agency on that and because um both of your adoptions were pretty much finalized at this point or near enough we weren't hearing a lot from the agency then anyway and so we knew roughly around the time that little one was born was due to be born and that was it we never heard anything else we never heard where the baby arrived safely or not, when they arrived, whether it was a boy or a girl, what their name was, and whether they were in local authority care, whether they were in a foster to adopt placement or whatever that might have looked like. We didn't hear anything and that was really hard, but um, I think also made it a little bit easier because it meant that we weren't, I mean, I think it would have been absolutely horrific news to hear that your newest sibling had ended up in local authority care or back with birth parents if they weren't ready for that or whatever that might be. If it wasn't good news, so to speak, um, I think it was gonna be difficult for us to hear. So it was really nice finding out last week um, because we received all of your life story work. We received a picture of your newest sibling. We received their day of birth. We received information about the fact that they're in a foster to adopt placement and it was so emotional, so emotional. There's not been many days gone by where we haven't thought about your sibling and I definitely can, 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 and I definitely know that that's the case. There has not been many days gone by where I haven't thought, 
I wonder if baby arrived okay, I wonder if birth mom's okay, I wonder whether it was a boy or a girl, I wonder where they are. Those things kind of sit with me and they don't leave me. Um, and I obviously felt connected to this baby regardless of knowing anything about them or not because they're your full sibling. Um, and to find out, to see a picture, to see that they've got some characteristics that make them look like you and they are a full sibling of yours and they're here and they're safe and they're well and to know that they're in a foster to adopt placement and so realistically very soon that should have all been processed and we should be able to meet with them and that then we're just kind of fantasizing about what kind of relationship you'll have with each other and will you have a really strong relationship with them and a really strong bond with them as this is one of your full siblings i don't know it's just really exciting it's just so much to think about and yeah buzzing is the word i think we are waiting for a call from social worker to um hear what the plan is i would assume that until everything's finalized with with this little one's adoption that we won't be able to meet them anyway um but yes so it's so exciting um and yeah i hope that we don't have to talk about too many other siblings um because that just adds another element of difficulty in arranging contact and keeping relationships with those people throughout your lives but that's what we signed up for and if that's what we need to do that's what we'll do and as long as you're comfortable and happy with it that's what we'll do um so yeah all being well um we will get to meet your newest sibling soon and get your relationship started with them so excited so so excited and i wonder like when you're watching this back like will you have like a relationship with this person like will you be looking back at this with them i don't know anyway yeah so if you liked this video give it a thumbs up guys hit that subscribe button down below on my face in the corner if you haven't already and click in the notification bell next so that means that you get notified when i upload a new video on mondays and fridays it's all completely free but it just lets me know that you're enjoying what i am putting out here and that it is actually helpful for you although i do get tons and tons and tons and tons and tons of messages from you all now on instagram which i'll leave here about how helpful my videos are and that like really like i well up every time i get one of those messages so thank you guys it's really lovely to hear that this is beneficial for you and to know that um i can contribute in some way to the uk adoption community so yes hope you all have a wonderful day and i'll see you soon guys bye